Today's lesson is on angle pairs. Angle pairs are called that because they always appear as two angles working together to display some unusual or interesting property. In this lesson, we will look at nine different types of angle pairs. Complementary angle pairs add to 90 degrees. These pairs do not have to be touching to be complementary. Any two angles that sum to 90 degrees are complementary angle pairs. Any two right angles will always be complementary and congruent, whether they share a common vertex or common side. Two interesting varieties of angle pairs sum to 180 degrees. These are linear pairs and supplementary angles. Linear pairs get their name because the sides, not common to the two angles, form a straight line. Linear pairs always share a common vertex and one common ray, line segment, or line. They are always supplementary and adjacent angles, and the linear pairs always form when lines intersect. Just two intersecting lines creates four linear pairs. Every pair shares a vertex, the point of intersection, and one common side. See if you can find the four linear pairs in intersecting lines MAP and TAN. Here are the linear pairs created by our intersecting lines. Supplementary angles need not be linear pairs. They just have to add to 180 degrees. They do not have to share a common side and they do not have to be adjacent angles. These two angle pairs are congruent, meaning they have the same measure. Vertical angles and right angles. Vertical angles share a vertex. When two lines intersect, two pairs of angles opposite each other are formed. These opposite angles are congruent. They are not adjacent angles because they do not share a common side. Looking back at our intersecting lines from before, we see that angle MAN and angle TAP share a common vertex, point A, but do not share a common side. They are vertical angles and they are congruent. The same is true of angle MAT and angle PAN. Right angles will always be congruent, and any two right angles form complementary angle pairs. Some figures, such as parallel lines cut by a transversal, create special angle pairs. These three pairs are alternate interior angles, angles on opposite side of a transversal but between the two parallel lines form supplementary angle pairs. Alternate exterior angles. Angles on opposite sides of a transversal, but outside the two parallel lines form supplementary angle pairs. And corresponding angles. Angles in the same relative position at each intersection are congruent, shown with this symbol. Here is a transversal, SD, cutting across parallel lines, MH, and EO at points A and point U. Yes, it is a madhouse, but can you find the alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, and corresponding angles? The alternate interior angles are angle MAU and angle OUA, angle HAU and angle EUA. The alternate exterior angles are Angle MAD and Angle OUS, Angle HAD and Angle SUE. And the corresponding angles are Angle MAD corresponding with Angle EUA, Angle HAD corresponding with Angle OUA, Angle OUS corresponding with Angle UAH, Angle MAU corresponding with angle SUE. Adjacent angles are often considered angle pairs, even though they have only one identifying property. They share a common vertex and side. They do not need to be complementary, supplementary, or special in any way.